All right, everybody, welcome back. You may be wondering, why am I behind bars? Or behind rubber tubes? The answer is, uh, I got into some trouble. The kit car company contacted me and they were not pleased with one of my videos. So they asked that I take that video down or that I would face legal action. Be in jail. So, um, anyway, what they were not pleased with is that I shared um, email information. Uh, so, so essentially the body, the text of an email. Um, and also uh, that I shared information about uh, their build manual. And they also didn't want me to share any website images. So from my end, um, so I actually contacted them prior to ever starting YouTube and asked them if it was okay if I used some of their website images and they said, sure, no problem, share whatever you want. And I've got that in writing. Um, also their email, um, lots of emails, especially company emails have like the little section at the bottom that says confidential, blah, blah, blah. Um, so their email doesn't have anything. So again, nothing in writing that says don't share anything. Um, the kit manual, again, when they shared that, there wasn't any information that said don't share. I feel like I was also sensitive. I didn't uh, share large portions. I just kind of wanted to give my opinion on kind of uh, what I was expecting, what I got, uh, just for anybody else that was kind of interested in that process. So um, anyway, I, I've taken it down. I put a new video out, kind of uh, same video, same uh, audio, but just with the essentially with their images and the emails and things removed. So if you're interested in checking that out, try it up there. And otherwise, we'll go ahead and get into this week. So this week, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on the electrical. We're going to figure out some of the like DC to DC converting, where that goes, get the cabling set up. And uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get. All right, so put the battery modules in. I've got all the plates in. You need to push that grommet back, but basically these are all in. I've got the back sides plugged in and the front sides plugged in for the monitoring wires. So I'm gonna go test these three. Um, the, essentially the BMS comes with a little testing circuit board so I can actually read each cell. So it'll help me identify if all the cells are good and if I got them all wired up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah, like I said, this was not, not easy trying to get all these uh, plates uh, in position and all the tubing connected. There's just not a lot of real estate back here, but. All right, so here's the uh, BMS checkboard. So um, let's get closer. So essentially C0 is kind of the minimum voltage uh, for this BMS. And then you can connect it to C1 which, uh, well, let me just show you. Okay, so here's the BMS board. Um, it took to, uh, this is our first pack. So essentially the first 12 cells of the first battery module. And uh, this just confirms that you've got them wired correctly. All the wires go in the right spot. So you can take Essentially C0 to C1, it's got 3.5 volts. Then you can kind of keep going from C1 to C2, 3.5 volts. And you can go on so forth. So the last one here, 3.5 volts. So I went through this first um, BMS, so it's wired correctly. Um, I'm gonna do the other eight. Well, actually, I'll just do the first three. That's what I've got hooked up. Um, We'll make sure that's good, and then uh, we'll start hooking up the other batteries. All right, so I tested the uh, first three uh, battery modules, which is kind of the first four uh, BMS plugs, and um, plugs one and four are fine, and two and three have an issue. Just, I don't know, I, I, apparently I didn't wire things right, uh, so obviously they don't 
combine evenly. You got 16 cells in the pack and only 12 wires. So basically those crossover points, um, they don't seem to be uh, working right. So I gotta figure that out, but uh, we'll get back to it. All right, so I got the voltage fixed. Um, essentially what it was is I didn't have any of the batteries connected in parallel yet. So that's kind of why we got the one error on those two different cells where the batteries cross over. Um, so when I connect them in parallel, it all looks good. So, all right, here's the uh, kind of high voltage layout that is uh, recommended. So from the battery uh, packs, um, got the negative going to the negative, the positive going to the positive. So the Tesla controller that I've got is actually controls the whole prelay circuitry. So it's got a, an output that goes and trips the relay, which will allow the essentially the current to go through the pre-charge resistor. Anyway, the output turns it on. So this this one goes to pin G. And so again, that's what'll turn it on and there's pin H. So from the controller, it gives signals to those as to when to open. And then here's the pre-charge circuit up there. So my thought for layout is um, I'll have one fuse here for one pack, the other fuse there for the other pack. And then um, I'll have those two join up and go to this switch. Um, the switch I wanna have accessible kind of to the driver. Um, so I'll probably just put it in the console there um, underneath some paneling. So anyway, this will be here. Again, the console kind of goes right along here. So this is kind of behind that main support, but the, so the center console kind of goes here and I'll have this switch be mounted kind of right there. So I can have easy access to it from the seated driver's position if I ever need to shut things off in a hurry. So again, this, this will be like my negative one. Um, this goes to pin H and the other one goes to ground. And this one goes to pin G. And the other one goes to ground. The one pin is uh, pin M, that'll close it. One more here, but essentially it'll go from the positive to pin 30 here, run through the circuit to the other side. So anyway, this is, this is kind of the main things I need to have. Um, some other things I'm looking at though are the, uh, the charge circuit as well as the DC to DC converter. So again, I've got some fuses there for the DC to DC converter, charging circuit relay there. So fuse, fuses, this kind of all has to do with the, the charging and DC to DC converter. So I'm gonna see if I should put all that in here or not. All right, uh, I got some copper material and I'm gonna make some bus bars essentially to go from terminal to terminal. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so there's the uh, finished product. Um, we'll go try and test fit one, see how we did with measurements. All right, we'll give a little test fit here. Looks like it'll work great. All right, so I think what I've decided to do is have the DC to DC converter um, and the battery, the 12 volt battery, um, next to all the 12 volt systems. So my thought is, um, to put it in kind of the side panel here. So I've kind of got, this is just my 12 volt power supply that I've been using to plug in the wall to test all my systems. But my thought is um, have car battery and the DC to DC converter here. Um, this panel kind of gets right, it'll get put right there. So the panel's on the floor there. And then again, I'll have battery and the DC to DC converter. So I'll go ahead and see how that lays out.
All right, I got it mounted. Um, I was just looking, I don't know. When the shell comes down, I don't know if this, when the shell comes down, I don't know if this will kind of be right in the way. So these two holes I might keep and just shift this over one. So I'll have to do one more rib nut there. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that now, I don't know. But uh, essentially what I'll do is um, I've got the high voltage right here that uh, needs to go back, kind of around and then through here. This is where the main high voltage uh, box will be. And then uh, this is kind of the 12 volt. Can you see the other one? So anyways, there and there, and that will go over to here. So I've got, uh, got my cables red and one of these is black. And so that'll go into uh, my relay fuse box. And then I can uh, get a battery and a 12 volt battery. And then that'll kind of be the system. So the, the 12 volts will go to the battery. I'll have a fuse in between, then a fuse from the battery to that. That'll be kind of the 12 volt side. And then the high voltage again, will go back over there. All right. so. Need a little advice on this switch. I was thinking about putting it here on the center console and just essentially running a, called a loop um, up to the switch and then back. So that'll be kind of the main pack voltage. Um, yeah, good idea, bad idea. My thought was just kind of, I don't know exactly where, but somewhere, you know, maybe like that or I don't know. Or maybe I could have like up under the dash or so, I don't know. So suggestions welcome, let me know what you think. All right, I've been diving into the 12 volt systems again. Um, for the DC to DC converter, so this uh, cable here, we need a fused switched 12 volt signal. So essentially when the car is on, then it will be converting the 400 volts or 350 volts to 12 volts. Um, I'm thinking that's what we want to do. Uh, if you guys feel that it should be on all the time, let me know and we'll switch it to just the uh, always on instead of the switched. But uh, so anyways, we're, di we're diving in over here to uh, find some wires. So I got to go back to my old wiring diagrams and figure out where we need to go. All right, here we are. Uh, nine and 10 are both blank. so. We'll go tap into the yellow plug and uh, get that wire. All right, I just picked up a 12 volt battery. Um, essentially, right around here is where it'll end up. Um, I've got some of the uh, cable connectors, what do you call these, uh, lug clamps that are coming. And uh, just need to cut and crimp. That's what we'll work on next. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, covers on the fuse relay boxes. Um, so just had to cut out little notches for some of the wires to come out. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and close them up. All right, I got the covers on. Probably can't see too well with all the connectors in the way, but uh, so there's kind of fuse relay box boxes. Um, again, these are all the connectors. Not quite sure where to tie those out of the way, but. It's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of secured here. You just probably need one more place to kind of make sure they're all looking nice. But there we have it. All right, so I decided to go with the uh, kind of the battery tray. It's got some mounting tabs there, as well as the uh, some of these guys to hold on this top strap. So that'll all fit in right over here. And uh, just need to. Get some metal for those mounting tabs so it'll be nice and secure. So I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put it but uh, maybe something like that. Time's running out for today but uh, we'll get that going. All right so we were able to uh, get kind of the battery uh, monitoring wires hooked up here up front and got those tested out, got them sorted out. We also uh, got the 12 volt system kind of put back in its place. Got the DC to DC converter mounted, um, covers on, battery trays ready to go in. So we got a lot accomplished and uh, we'll keep on going. 
All right, thanks for watching. I'll try and stay out of trouble. See you next week.